And as always, if you like this reading, please like or subscribe or leave a comment if you'd like to. And as usual, I have everything ready. I'm going to start your reading for lovely, lovely Aries people. The first card you have for your past is the Page of Cups. This Page of Cups, he's very um, friendly, he's funny, he loves love, but he doesn't take things very seriously and he's quite young as well. That's how I see the Page of Cups. So yes, I'm seeing a few different things actually with this card. Um, I see you had a lot of dreams. You did have a lot of dreams. You had a lot of ideas at this time. Some of them were realistic. I'm seeing some of them were actually a bit unrealistic, but I'm just seeing that, you know, you were just enjoying having these dreams, whether they were realistic or not. You were just enjoying sitting there thinking, oh, I could do this and what about that? And maybe I could go here and all of these things. And you are the type of person who probably could make most things a reality. You're very good at manifesting things. The more unrealistic, the more determined you are, especially if someone tells you that your ideas are unrealistic, then you'll probably do it more likely. Um, I'm also seeing that, um, yes, I'm seeing someone, this could be a friend actually, but they might have been a little bit more interested in you than um, you realized. They, I, I'm seeing someone who could have wanted more than friends with you and they wanted something more with you. They might still want to be more than friends with you at this time. They might still be thinking about you at this time. I am seeing messages coming from them or in between you and them, so you might be speaking to them. I'm also seeing it could be, um, it could be text messages, but it also could be a message coming or messages coming through someone else. So you might know them through someone else and they might be telling you about this person. Now, I think you've known this person for a, for a while or you've known them for a while they could be thinking of you as more than friends that's what I'm seeing you might not have seen them lately but I'm just seeing messages coming across um, and they might be coming through somebody else to you that's what I'm seeing or they might have been at this time the next card you have for your past is the four of cups um, so yes for single people again um, if anyone in an, is interested in you, um, especially this person um, in the Page of Cups or anyone else, not just them, I'm not seeing you really being interested in anyone else at this time. It's not them. It's not just this person. It's it's anyone. You have this really strange, or you had at this time, this really strange, uneasy feeling about love altogether. That's what I'm seeing. Um, you really weren't feeling like you wanted anyone new at this time around you anyway. Um, part of you wanted someone. Part of you had a kind of a dreamy, wouldn't it be good if this happened? Wouldn't it be good if that happened? Kind of thing. And I'm seeing that as well in the Page of Cups. This is this kind of dreaminess, imagining things, all sorts of things. So there was this kind of, wouldn't it be good if I had someone kind of thing I'm feeling around you? But then when you think about it realistically, when you think about having to um, see people from a day-to-day -day basis, talk to them all the time, think about them all the time, do this, all of these other day-to-day -day things in a realistic way. I'm getting this uneasy feeling around you and any new love prospects because you start to think that, oh, maybe I couldn't do this or, oh no, I don't want what comes with it. Oh no, I Oh, I should be on my own. But then when you are on your own, you're thinking, oh no, maybe I should be with someone. So it's this very strange backwards and forwards kind of thing I'm feeling with you. And um, yes, I'm seeing you actually stressing about the idea of real life love. Imagined love, love that you kind of imagine you kind of like the idea of that, but actually real life love, real life love, I should say, um, you you kind of shy away from, you're kind of not very, um, you don't feel very positive about that. This is for single people, obviously. Um, the last card you have your past is the devil, yes. So you could have been holding on to some kind of old hurt at this time. I'm seeing a lot of anger and I'm seeing you holding on. It's like you're kind of chained to this old hurt, like these people are chained to this devil. You kind of can't let go of something that happened to you. And um, this is something 
this is someone in your head and your emotions that you're holding on to and this is anger and hurt that's attaching you to this person so you're probably not attached to them physically or pro obviously you're not attached to them physically you're not glued to them but you're obviously you're not around them physically or you weren't at this time but your anger was attaching them to you so you had them on your mind because you were angry and um something they did really affected you very very negatively this is more this is more like something that they did rather than um something they said i am seeing something they did to you um and not just to you to someone else as well i'm seeing so you could still be holding on to this anger i am seeing a lot of anger you might have um not been physically around them at this time i'm seeing you are separate from them at this time or you were at this time um your mind was still there your mind was even chained to this person um and this was you this was you chaining yourself to this person you didn't want to be chained to this person by your anger and your feelings and your emotions but you just were you were you couldn't help yourself so if this resonates and you're still feeling like this try to let go of this anger this is what's keeping you chained to this person and this could be what's holding you back your anger about the things that have happened in the past with someone all of this anger you're still getting this going around and around and around in your head and it's affecting a lot of things in your life or it was at this time you need to try and let go of this i know it's not easy but that's what i'm seeing the first card you have your present is the high priestess so yes this is about this person in the devil card this person that hurt you there were things hidden there were things hidden and um Yes, this person in the devil card could have hidden things from you. I'm actually seeing different stories here. I'm seeing one thing that was being said to you and another thing being said to someone else. So they didn't want you to know something. That's what I'm seeing. But you knew, you knew something was something was going on before it was actually revealed to you that's what i'm seeing and that's why one of the reasons why you have a lot of anger around this and and yes you still do have a lot of anger around this at this time i'm still seeing this um and you could have felt instinctively that something went on long before you actually found out about this i keep on seeing this this intuition and this instinctiveness because i'm seeing that you have this kind of a subconscious knowing about a lot of things a lot of the time your instincts are right they are right um, you should always follow them especially in business especially in where you want to go in money or business or job or things like that always follow your instincts you should follow them anyway but yes your instincts were right at this time with this person but you didn't follow them until it was too late that's what i'm seeing and now you're still quite angry about whatever happened the next card you have your present is the queen of wands so yes this might sound a bit strange but i'm seeing um I'm seeing entertaining actually, not entertaining in the way that you're having a dinner party or something like that, but I'm seeing that you're around people socially or they're talking to you and you're talking and they're laughing. They're laughing at you or they're laughing at what you're saying, you're joking, you're having some kind of flowing conversation with people. And I'm saying fun because I'm seeing people laughing at what you say. I'm seeing you love this, you really enjoy this, but there's always a little bit of stress behind this with you. You always have a little bit of nervousness around people. You have this feeling of not quite being good enough or worrying about what people think of you. But I'm not seeing any reason. You don't have any reason to be stressed around these people. Let it go and just enjoy the moment you have with people you you have a lot of these fantastic moments with people but you kind of have this thing in the back of your head spoiling it sometimes saying oh i'm not good enough oh what if this goes wrong oh sometimes things just will not go wrong they'll be fine if they go wrong they go wrong just let things flow easily that's what i'm seeing that's what I'm seeing. Take people at face value sometimes. I know people have hurt you, but try to take people at face value. Sometimes things are very simple. Just laughing with people, just enjoying the moment. That's what you need to get used to doing a lot more. And I think part of you being able to do that is going to be if you let go of your anger with this devil, whoever this was. The last card you have your present is the Seven of Swords. So yes, again, this is what's on your mind. This anger about this person who's done whatever they've done, to you they could have been um sneaking around being secretive again i'm seeing saying one thing to you and another thing to someone else trying to hide things from you 
And also seeing another person might be talking to you about this person in the devil card again, and that might be fueling your anger even more. If that's the case, I mean, obviously don't shoot the messenger, it's not their fault, but I'm not seeing they're a bad person. But maybe try to, maybe just ask them, can you, you know, please don't talk about this person. I'm just trying to get over my anger with them. I'm trying to move on from this. And, you know, if people talk about it, it makes me think about it all over again. So maybe just not talk about this person. You might have to say something like that because you don't want to be chained to this person and your anger. It's really your anger around this person I'm seeing you chained to. The first card you have for your future is um, the Page of Swords. So you have even more swords. Um, Yes, someone could be looking at you, watching you on social media or something like that. I'm seeing watching you on some kind of screen. Um, this could be related to this um, sneaky person. It might not be. It might be someone else. Um, it's definitely someone you used to see. You don't see them anymore. They're still going to be watching you at this time in your future. Um, I'm seeing that this could be someone who you might have had a disagreement with or something like that. Um, so yes, if this resonates, of course, check your privacy settings or whatever you need to check on whatever you're on. Um, but, you know, you can't really do much about this, really. If this person's watching you or whatever they're doing, you can't do a lot about it. I know it's difficult, but just try to let some of these people go, especially try to let your anger go. That's all through this reading. I keep seeing it all the way through this. I know it's easy trying to tell an Aries to calm down, and I know it's difficult for them to do that. It's hard for me to do that too. I know that. But, you know, you need to try because you don't want to let whatever this is drag you down mentally and hold you back from things. You're very strong. You're Aries. Dump this mental baggage. I can see that you can go a lot further than you have gone in your life. But this anger might be holding you back. So please get rid of this. The next card you have for future is the hanged man. So yes, again, for single people, if you're looking for a relationship, I'm seeing um, there might be delays in love here. You could be delaying it on purpose. Any love, um, you could be doing this yourself by the way that you're feeling. And even the way that you could be, um, <clears throat> excuse me, speaking to yourself about love. You might be thinking, this will never happen to me. I can't do this. I don't really want this anyway. I'm not happy. This person hurt me. I'm angry. And because you have all of that going on in your head, that's what's stopping you. You're a very good manifester. You know, you know that positive talk and positive things and telling yourself you can do things, bring things to you. And negative talk about things, take things from you. You know that. So if you really want someone you're going to have to be more positive around this and you're going to have to let go of anger and just let things go because you're holding yourself back. You're holding yourself back. That's what I'm seeing happening in the hand, ma'am. Um, the last card you have for your future is the Queen of Pentacles. So yes, this is about being grounded. This is about being stable. This is about being calm, in control of things. Again, if you let go of your anger, this is how you're going to be feeling. This is, we all love to feel like this. I'm also seeing money coming to you or money around you at this time. Um, this isn't just coming to you out of nowhere. It's not like you're going to win the lottery. I wish I could say you are. But this is because you're building up your money. You're building up some kind of career or some kind of thing like that. Um, you're also very careful with your money. You're careful not to spend a lot of money. So in the future, I am seeing you are going to have a lot of financial success, more than you have now. This is going to be good for you because you actually, because you're so careful with money, you're not going to go crazy at the time. You're not going to go, oh, I've got all this money. I'm going to buy all these crazy things. No, you're not going to do this. You're still going to be very careful. So you're a good manager of your money and that's how you're going to be. But on the other side of the coin there um, with money, try to relax a bit as well. Don't go too far in not spending money. Don't be too careful because money's energy. Money's energy and it needs to be flowing. It needs to flow around for it to come back to you. So I'm not saying go out and spend everything either. I'm not talking about extremes. Let go a little bit and, you know, let loose in a lot of places as well. Don't be so hung up on what people think of you. Don't be so hung up on your anger. Don't be so hung up on your money either. That doesn't mean you go the opposite way and you just trust everyone blindly and you spend all your money. No, of course, that doesn't mean that. 
just find a balance, find a balance between things. That's what I'm seeing. And the biggest thing I'm seeing in this whole reading is let go of whatever this anger is towards someone from your past. That's what I'm seeing. So Aries, I hope this resonated. General readings can't always resonate with everyone, as I always say. But again, if you like this reading, please like or subscribe or leave a comment if you'd like to. Thank you so, so much for watching.